What's up everyone, welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we are going to talk about something that won't take an hour <laughs> to discuss. Uh, that was the big thing about last episode was that I had to get a lot done in that so I could get back to the basics. So that way you guys can know kind of what's coming up as we wrap up the second season here. Uh, today I figure what we'll do is talk real briefly about the third weekend, and this will probably be the last weekend we talk about this season because um, I don't know if I'll start season uh, three before you know before my surgery. I'm, I'm, my plan is to wait after my surgery, so we won't be able to talk about like the the opening weekend numbers in China and Japan until like a week or two later. So I apologize for that delay, but you know hopefully you guys will still stay uh, stay tuned for that, uh, and we'll talk about how well it does then and how much money it's perceived to wrap out at. Because right now I think they're saying it might peter out like around 700 million if they're, if uh, China and Japan are big releases. And we've seen recently on social media how they're promoting the movie in those countries and even more. And so it's kind of neat. They had like that big Venom blimp thing that was going around, which was kind of cool. Uh, but so for the third weekend, the movie did pretty well. I mean, it dropped 48%, which is about standard kind of. Uh, but, you know, Halloween came in kicking butt this weekend, which I'm so happy for. I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, and I'm not a huge, huge Halloween like fan as far as like the whole series goes. I'm more like Jason is more kind of my movie monster. But I do like those movies and I like John Carpenter a lot especially movies like The Thing that's like one of my favorite movies of all time so uh, you know so seeing the movie do that well for Bloomhouse is fantastic obviously they're gonna be doing Spawn they're producing Spawn coming up uh, and that's gonna start production early next year and they typically make movies for $10 million. And then, you know, when a movie makes 77 million domestically, like Halloween did, uh, that is huge. That is definitely their budget back and more. It's a very smart business strategy uh, to just tell everyone, hey, look, I don't care how big you are name-wise. I don't care who you work for, what you've done before. Uh, my business model is $10 million, 10 to $12 million for your budget or less if possible. And, uh, and you know, that just increases our odds of making our money back. And uh, we're gonna stick to horror, we're gonna stick to low budget things, and it's working. Like the guy is killing it, you know, uh, uh, Bloomhouse is killing it. So seeing that do so well and seeing Halloween take the number one spot was totally okay with me, obviously. Like I knew Venom wasn't gonna last forever. The fact that it got two weekends was good, but uh, it was also, as a, for a Venom fan, it was kind of nice to see Halloween just make a ton of money but fall just short of breaking Venom's record because I know again a lot of the haters out there who just want to hate on this movie which is fine you don't like the movie that is totally fine but when people go out of their way to look for reasons you know they're like oh finances don't matter the movie still sucks and then as soon as the movie doesn't make enough money on a certain weekend they're like see finances matter and it's like you guys are all hypocrites you know like back off if you don't like the movie who gives a crap like there's plenty of other movies to love out there go praise those movies and just let the people who enjoyed Venom for what it was enjoy the movie like stop trying to take away people's uh you know like their enjoyment it's it's ridiculous um and so seeing the movie make you know 18 million this weekend domestically but also still keep the number one spot internationally with 32 million over 65 markets is great and that puts the movie's total right now at 460 million which is past its budget for the movie and its marketing budget so it is definitely in the profit zone now everything after this is all gravy it's going to just all be extra money for them and for their investors and uh you know and hopeful you know push to get that sequel start rolling sooner than later i know um i know the director ruben fleischer is working on zombie land and they're going to start filming in like january or february so he's going to be busy on that for a while but that gives them time to hopefully write a decent script that's the one thing the venom movie needs tom hardy was great in the first movie but we need a better structure we need better villains we need carnage to not be handled poorly um we need a really interesting storyline and i heard avi arad say yeah you might see like an actual invasion in the second movie and i'm like well i don't want that like carnage doesn't want that carnage doesn't want uh you know like of course they're going to probably change his motivations but carnage wants carnage he wants blood everywhere uh, he doesn't want to lead an invasion from uh, Clintar back to Earth. And I understand it's a sequel and you want to, you know, add, you know, more lore to it and, you know, touch on the, the background of the symbiote more. And I totally get that. And I don't mind if they do that, but to, you know, hopefully they don't do an invasion thing where they bring more symbiotes to Earth. It's like more symbiotes is not the answer for me. Um, I would love to see a scene with symbiotes. I think they cut that from the initial script for this one. I think the opening was going to take place on Clintar with, uh, or on a, uh, on a planet or on a moon or something, uh, where John James Jameson gets the sample of the symbiotes and brings it on the ship. I guess they 
they cut that for budget reasons. But uh, I would have done whatever I could to keep that in because that would have been great and that could have helped set up stuff that you play off of in the sequel. Way more than, like I said, that motorcycle uh, chase scene, which is, it's a fine scene, don't get me wrong, but it just, when you look at what's essential to the story, uh, it's not really that essential because everything that happens in it, him using his powers and using the suit, that is all redundant information because we already saw him do that in the, you know, uh, his like apartment. Uh, you saw him like use the suit like that and it's like, eh, you could have done some stuff with him on foot, you know, throwing the drones around on foot or something in the street and you didn't have to, you know, spend all that money on the chase sequence and maybe they could have done that opening. Uh, that's just a critique of mine. A lot of you guys may not agree, that's fine. Um, but seeing the movie do this well third weekend is great. It did come third though. It dropped to third place because A Star is Born is just maintaining that level. Like people are going to see that movie. It's, you know, possibly going to be an Oscar uh, contender. Uh, it's definitely for award season movie, uh, but it also looks pretty good. I know it's a remake of a, like a second time remake of a movie, uh, but it's that's good for Bradley Cooper and his career uh, wanting to direct and, you know, and do more creative stuff and act as well, obviously. And Lady Gaga, this being her first big movie like this, um, I think it's her first big movie, but uh, definitely where she's the lead and the focus of the movie. Um, I definitely want to see it at some point, uh, but uh, I have to get I have to get in the mood for movies like that. For comic book stuff, I'm always in the mood for, but for everything else, I need to actually like wait until I'm in the mood for. Uh, so, uh, so I know some of you guys may have seen the movie. If you have, let me know what you think of that. And if you've seen Halloween, let me know what you think of that down below. I'll try to go see it you know, before my surgery if I can, but I'm also not really rushing to. I don't really typically go to the movies a lot. I mostly watch stuff at home. Uh, that's where I prefer to watch stuff because I'm in control of the sound and, you know, and everything, you know, in the room, you know, it's it's kind of a kind of a control issue, but also with my health and, you know, my head and stuff, I got to, you know, it's nice to be able to adjust volume and lights and stuff uh, when you're watching movies. So, um, yeah, this is great. That's a good third weekend. I, uh, you know, I think it's good for the movie overall. It's a, uh, I think it's domestic earnings is like 172. I'll flip over to box office real quick. Yeah, it's 172 million domestically. And then, uh, internationally, it's like another 290 million. So uh, as long as it does really well in China, if it, you know, hits, you know, 50 to 100 million, and then in Japan it does, you know, like 10 or 20 million or something opening weekend, uh, that could put this movie in a really good spot. And I think it's already outpaced movies like Solo, people, I saw people posting. I don't really care about the comparisons too much. I just care that the movie does well enough to warrant a sequel, and it looks like it might do that. It looks like it has done that, but, uh, you know, the bigger it opens in China and Japan and these other countries, the more it'll solidify that. So, uh, so I'm still hoping that it does that, because even though this movie had flaws I think they are fixable flaws and you have to start somewhere and it's a, not a horrible start in my opinion and I would like to see them build off of what they set up and I know a lot of you guys too so let me know what you think whether you agree with me or not uh, down below on whether you know the, you know the quality of the movie um, but the one thing you can't argue is the numbers and that's all Hollywood cares about. They want the numbers to be good, and these numbers are not bad at all, uh, especially considering how much hate this movie has been getting for the past, like, eight months. Uh, it's astounding that it's made this much money. It truly is. Uh, and you, I don't know, you don't want to agree with that, that's fine, but it is. This movie has done well, and it's surprising uh, that it's done this well, considering how many people didn't want it to. So, uh, again, let me know your thoughts down below, and we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.